Hi guys, Noob here, hope you're all doing well. Today's video is a tips video for the new classical concert event that's coming up. Hopefully, I'll be able to help you in regards to getting through the various stages. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into it and take a look at what the new event has to offer us. So here we are guys, the classical concert event. December Troops Orchestra has launched the Mirrorland Tour. The concert is open now complete quests in the concert to obtain orchestra stubs tap the set to exchange for the exclusive classical music set there are three sets available they are the clarinet concerto the sky rhapsody and the monochrome symphony three very very nice sets each one very unique i'm going to show you now the tour and also how to obtain your orchestra stubs So, this is the Classical Concert Event Tour page. Um, there are five stages to the uh, tour. The first one here is called Music Fairy, and this one is a, a little bit different to uh, the normal uh, events, well, the ones I've played anyway, wherein it asks you questions. You get... Um, Questions in this one based on musical themes, so stuff like names of instruments, that sort of thing. I found it fairly easy. Uh, you get stubs for each one you get right, and you get three questions that you have to answer to pass on to the next stage. The next stage, stage two, being Miracle Quiz. This one is also a multiple choice quiz, but this one has questions based on the actual game itself. This one I found a little bit more difficult to do. Um, but if you're a uh, Love Nikki enthusiast, I'm pretty sure you'll pass them with ease. Uh, if not, you do get multiple attempts to try and pass. And again, you get three attempts to get uh, a right answer. Each time you get a right answer, you also get orchestra stubs. Now, the next three stages are a bit more familiar. They are outfit-based ones. So, number three is Ticket Tout. This one is asking you to change into a sports outfit to help him sell tickets. Uh, what I'll do here, I'll just reset my challenge so I can actually go into this stage and show you the outfit that I used. So this is the outfit that I used to pass the stage. What I found, the simplest thing to do was go into the quest tips, pay attention to the red letters, like I say, which says sports outfit, and also the style of simple and lively so I picked things first of all that had the sports tag so the uh, top and bottoms jacket and I believe also the legging the other tights and the trainers have all got the sports tag everything else there I picked with simple and lively tags doing that enabled me to get an S rank and pass the stage so if you just pay attention simply to the tips you should pass this one with relative ease. Stage 4 is Romantic Date. For this one, you have to construct a concert uh, outfit. Again, I'll head into the challenge to show you the outfit that I used and also give you some tips as well. And so for this one, you have in red, what should I wear to the concert? And the style tips here from Momo pure and elegance so what I did I went through my items and I found things which had the pure and elegance tag the highest rating ones I had so the most hearts made an outfit using those so if you go through your own collection find the items that have the highest ranking in elegance and pure add a few random ones in like I've done there as well such so gorgeous and cute always helps when it comes to uh, getting those extra points if you go through and do that and make sure you use your uh, skills as well obviously you'll be able to pass the stage and hopefully get an S the first time and the fifth stage this was one that I found a little bit tricky but I eventually passed it warmth comes before grace 
Uh, it says here in red, wear something warm. So, I'll head into the styling challenge and show you guys what I picked. And this is the slightly wacky outfit that I chose to pass the stage. There's a reason it looks a bit odd. Uh, when I tried the first time to pass the stage, I used the quest tips here, warm and mature. So I picked pretty much everything that was warm and mature. Uh, also as well, put on the brown earmuffs because I had the tag winter as well. I thought that would be helpful. When I went to pass the stage, I only achieved an A rank, even though I'd chosen everything that was warm and mature. Reason for that was a great big gold tag, so the ones that are uh, highly ranking ones and ones that you really need came up, and that one was for lively. So I picked, went back through and just picked random accessories that had the tag lively. So she looks a bit a little bit strange, um, but it worked, and uh, I also added a few pure items as well. A few simple items too so just just a few additional tags rather than just focusing on the pure tip ones and i've got an s rank so if you go through and if you follow the original tip for warm mature make sure to pick some uh, accessories that have the lively tag also put a few more in as well like i said pure cute always helps and you should achieve an s rank fairly easily so there we go guys, that was my tip video for the new Classical Concert event. As always, I'm probably going to have used some items which you don't have. Everybody's wardrobe is different in the game. Uh, if you don't have the exact items that I've shown you, pick whichever items that you have with the highest heart rating, with the tags that you need, and you'll probably get past the stage. Don't forget to use your skills as well. It's very very important to uh, counteract uh, the opponent and also up your points level as well okay guys that's it for this one if you like the video don't forget to leave a like if you don't already subscribe and you'd like to hit the subscribe button i hope you have a great day